Greetings, my minions, and welcome back to Attack of the B-Team Mod Pack with yours truly, Dr. Professor Dumble Hendrix Soars. Down, 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 Foxy. Down, down, down. Yes, indeed. That is a dubstep gun in my hand and an afro upon my head. You may be wondering, Dr. Professor Dumble Hendrix Soars, where did you acquire such a, a lovely and amazing gun and hair and I shall tell you <laughs> so sit back put your feet up and listen to a tale of rocking out disco style with myself and Corrales oh and many guns and well uh, explosions dun 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 oh that's rich Corrales just misclicked me and set me on fire. Now big girl's all mad. She's a piggy spited. She's a, don't you kill her. She's a piggy spited man. Don't mess. Don't mess with the pig girl. So I wasn't really going to record. But I couldn't get her inside. Uh, before she gets herself in trouble with Corrales. Come here little piggy. Let me, let me shoot her. Hold on. Let me put her away. <laughs> <laughs> Big girl, stop! He's a friend, it's okay, he didn't mean it. It was an accident. I don't think he meant it. Uh-oh, 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 did I, wait, am I on capture mode? Oops. Boom, got it, okay, I got her, I got her, I got her. Okay, I got her, I got her. Whew. Whew. So I guess uh, Corrales is here looking around the town. Like I said, he's got his, um, oh, where did he go? Uh oh, he's a birdie. He's a birdie. Uh, remember I had mentioned yesterday, uh, the, I guess in the last episode, I talked about his uh, his afro. Now, I, like I said, this is all his thang. So there he is. <laughs> I told you I didn't want to mess it up. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to rain on his disco parade. Thanks. Uh Feel free to browse. Feel free to browse. Payment goes in box in back if you decide you want to get something. I think he knows how to do it. But I've got the wrong skin. I, I was just telling him I wanted to get, get my other skin. <laughs> Hello, brother! Hello, twinsy. <laughs> Let me put on my afro hat. Dun, 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 dun. Afro hat. <laughs> I just need pink pants and a carrot. <sighs> Look at that. Identical twins. Identical twins. <laughs> I killed him at one point. <laughs> Oh, you want to buy a disc? Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Let me... Wait. The red one is awesome. We're going to play that. The red one is awesome. I spelled awesome wrong, but that's okay. Let's grab that red one. Let's grab one of the red. And we'll play it. We'll give a little demonstration. Woo! Sizzle, sizzle! Is that me? Oh, I am sizzling. Right, I better switch. Or I blow something up. Who can I be to dance? I want to dance around. I should dance. Oh, here we go. Mono Akuna. Yes, I'm going to dance as Akuna. Oh, he took it out. I was about to dance, dude. Yeah, here we go. Eastern Isles. This, wait. <laughs> this is my jam. Oh, gosh. What's blowing up now? Nothing in my hands. Oh man, my knee, I don't have any knees. I don't do nothing. Come on, let's dance. Let's dance, bro. I know it's not. It's not disco. It's not disco, but it's. It's still pretty good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Now we're jamming. <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> uh oh, uh oh, something's coming. Something's coming. All right, it comes with a free. It comes with a free jukebox. This is the good part. <laughs> I want a gun. You gotta give me a gun, bro. A good one. Surprise me. <laughs> I love that music. Oh, good. He's gonna give it to me now. Alright, anyway. So, welcome back, folks. Um, how do I control that music? Uh, I'll just... Oh no, no, I don't want to shut it off completely. Oh dang you! Fruitcakes! Ow! We got creeper. What are you shooting? Who are you shooting? You shooting mono? You shooting inside? Oh wait, what? I could have sworn he was shooting inside at mono. You shooting my clerk? This is just not right. You don't target the civilians, dude. So I'm having some internet issues, and things are running a little crappy right now. A little bit slow, you see. So I don't know what's going on. I'm probably rubber banding all over the place. But So let's take a look here. What's cooking? Uh, we got Chim moving in. Ugh. I didn't do a proper intro, but I will go back and do that and add it before this. <laughs> We've got Chim, the NSFY witch, the not-so-friendly witch. Moving in here with a fortune telling and donut shop. Look at that donut. It looks delicious. I could eat it, but I won't because then that'll mess up the sign. And I don't want to mess up the sign. I was in the middle here of doing my clipboard, and, uh, and then I saw Corrales walking around town looking at stuff. So um, I'm probably going to cut out here in a minute and then we'll get started. But let's just give Chim a pina colada. Welcome to the neighborhood. And I'll get a sign. I have a sign over here somewhere. So let me um, let me just go back to me. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, something weird going on here. Oh boy, I think I messed something up. Oh, oh no! All right, we're making a trade. Sounds good. So you can have both for the gun. I said gun. I didn't say gun. Did he give me a gun? Oh. It's not good doing business out here in the uh, in the dark. Oh, it's a gun! Woo it's a dubstep. Now I can really rock it out. Maybe this is a disco disco dubstep. Does it damage blocks? Because I don't want to shoot it over here. You click. Okay. I don't want to blow anybody's house down. Ooh. Ooh, wait. Do I need music on? You gave me a dud! I need ammo! No. Right click? Right click, it goes down. Nope. Flim flam! I call flim Look at the size of that gun. <laughs> what the heck? It's got an arrow in your head, buddy. Cool. Oh, it's an apple. Oh, he's gonna go fix it up. Apparently he messed it up. Try to flim flam me. Gotta watch out for these people, man. Oh, he's flim flamming. Um, oh, here we go. Okay, cool. So, step back. Oh, I need ammunition. Is this ammo? Oh, ammo? Nice. Oh, there it is! Oh, yeah! That's crazy! That's loud! Ow! 
Oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts. Ow. Ooh. Ow, it hurts. Wait. It shot me. Holy God. What are you doing? You're trying to kill me? Okay. Uh, that's great and all, but um, uh, I think I shot myself in the foot. I think I shot myself in the foot. <laughs> Does this come with insurance? <laughs> okay, good trade. Enjoy, enjoy the sounds, and I'll rock out. I'll rock out with my new dubstep. Woohoo! First dubstep gun. And did it use redstone? Doesn't look like it. How come I'm so hungry? So I'm gonna shoot over here into the sky. There we go. There it goes. Still coming out? Oh, it's still coming out. Oh. Oh, I get it. I gotta, you gotta hold it. And aim at what you're trying to shoot. Oh, wow. Awesome. <laughs> I want a refund. Uh, yeah, I want a refund. Dang it. Done, done blowed myself up. So I'm going to get back over to town. And we get this pleasant music playing. Nice. And I'll, I'll be right back. Stay tuned. And that's that. <laughs> so now you know the storied history of a dubstep gun and Dr. Professor Dumble Hendrix soars. And how I acquired this lovely weapon of disco. Um, sadly, um, I need to work on my aim with my dubstep gun. Let's put that away before someone gets hurt. And let's get started on the new episode. <laughs> so, I have a somewhat of a plan now, finally, after all that nonsense. And getting all my stuff back and returning here to the laboratory under the tiki bar. So let's take a look at the list of things to do as Pig Girl watches on. We have uh, some altar upgrades, which is what we're going to get started on. And, and then we're going to build a minion. A build a minion promo. This is like, you know the old Build-A-Bear, right? You know how you go to the mall and you can make up a little teddy bear, right? You put all the body parts together and you stuff it with stuffing and you make a little mm, teddy minion. Well, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to have a little business in town here on the server. That's going to be a build a minion service. We'll be flying around in our altar in a lovely, beautiful altar balloon. And uh, we will be doing like birthday parties and stuff and allowing other people to come up onto the altar and making their own minions. So we're going to call it build a minion. And, but we need to do a promotion. We're going to give away a couple of minions in order to promote the business. So, that's what we're going to focus on. All right. Slippers. <clears throat> yeah. You stay here. Let's go. So, I did bring the balloon down just a bit. My balloon altar, which is just outside here. Now, I'm, I'm having some internet troubles today, folks. Today is being... Uh, what the devil's today? I think today is Tuesday. Yeah. So... <gasps> Oh, there it is. <laughs> so, um, I'm having some latency today. I've been kind of rubber banding around on the server. And things aren't responding very quickly. Opening chess has a little bit of a latency issue. So, a bit of lag. And that's because I, um, I'm having some upload trouble today. Actually, I've got packet loss on the server. I mean, on my modem. Um, I can't upload a file. It's just, it's just not reliable enough right now. So I've called the cable company. I happen to have Cox Cable. And I have an appointment for tomorrow. Um, everything was so hunky-dory for a while, too. It was great until we had someone come in. One of the Cox techs came in last week and moved some stuff around. I got a new cable box for the new... Got a new master bedroom and all that construction that's going on, right? So they moved a bunch of cables. And, of course, now my internet's giving me problems. So, anyway... I don't know. Hopefully we'll get this, uh, we'll be able to get this episode done. So here we are in our flying altar balloon that b 0 had so kindly made for us with the balloons up top there. It's pretty awesome. 
And happy Ziggy's happy to see us back here. And whoa. I think what I'm going to do is just park it right here for now. And then I'm going to have to cut a space out. That's why in the clipboard I said we were going to um, create a parking space. I think we're just going to have to leave it there for now. I don't want to get too close. And I think I'm going to cut out some of this. Maybe I'll remove this piece here. So that way I can get it in and out of this parking spot a little more reliably without bumping into stuff. We'll leave it here for now. Bonk. So here's what we got cooking over here. I want to move all this stuff and put it over in this corner because I have a locker here now. And, and here you, you can see all the body parts that I have sewn up together so far. I've got a various types and uh, we got the flesh here from the nether from this is a biomes o plenty block of flesh and I got a bunch more but uh, I do want to go back to the nether and do some more exploring but I just haven't had a chance yet so this is kind of like where we do the sewing right where we we sew the body parts together so it's a little bloody over here that's what that represents and I'm thinking about maybe putting some more blood around the edges make it look sinister um, but for right now, what we want to do is, boy, I wonder how the heck did he get this out of here? Let's grab all the parts we need and we're going to head over to Pungence's place. Pungence is b -O's little brother and I'm going to need some blood and some souls. And I'm pretty sure, um, shoot. How can I get blood out of the bucket? So I might have to pour it into a, uh, a cauldron or something. Pretty sure I have, hold on a second here. Thought I had some in here already. Oh, I did. Oh, good. Because I left this in from last time. I'm going to need one more soul though. I'm going to make two minions for Pungence. We're going to go do a quick little prank on him because we haven't pranked pungence or schism yet or woofles who's also on the server i don't really bump into these guys very often and also corralis but i think we're going to start with uh we'll start with pungence i think i'm already at bath because he's relatively close he's over by by town and he's got like a big death star that he built up and he can and he flies it around it's actually a archimedes ship so I think we're going to put a couple of minions in there for him. That'll be our promotion for this, um, my build a minion services. But I've got to get a soul. And I think all I have to do is kill somebody with my, my scythe, right? I just have to find somebody to kill. You can see here all the chunks that aren't loading for me. This is all because of my internet right now. It's just not, it's just not playing fair. It's very unreliable. There's a peggy wiggy wiggy and a checky checky checky. Gives me your soul! <laughs> I see you under there, piggy. What is that hat? I like it. It looks like a football helmet. Can I have? Can I have? Oh, yeah. I got souls. So what I'm going to do is stock up on all these diff different body parts and ingredients, and then we'll fly around, build a minion, and then people can just pick and choose what they want to make. If you want to make a little chicken guy, then we'll have the chicken parts. If you want to make a pig, chicken, zombie, pigman, witch person... Then all you gotta do is pull out the parts, sew it together, and I'll, I'll hand them the necro Necronomicon, and they just click on the altar. They get to make their own little minion. I think that's fun. But I have to collect a lot more bunny parts. So let's um, let's go ahead and make this minion. Um, you know, I I suppose I should just take everything with me on the altar because we're gonna fly right over there let's do that let's put let's put you away i don't need this anymore i do want to get like um a couple of chests up there all right my minions welcome back i think i think we're all ready to roll and I, by the way i do appreciate your patience with me today i know this is kind of a uh, a hodgepodge episode and i'm, I'm attempting to salvage um, an episode here to make something that's fun and interesting and uh, worth your your 25 to 30 minutes. Um, but I'm a little bit behind the eight ball because of that fuss that I had with the internet this morning. So just just bear with me. And again, um, I appreciate that you guys 
are sticking with me here. Sticking by the necromancer's side because we are going to get this done come heck or high water. So, as you can see here, I've got all the vital organs in this chest as well as the ingredients that we use in order to sew together the body parts. And we've got various necromantic paraphernalia and instruments that we use in order to create life. And that's what we're about to do. So, whew, all right. Um, there is one more thing I wanted to do, and that is... What? No, not that. That's later. Huh. See that? That's my internet. And I made this fridge, by the way. I thought that would be pretty cool to put the body parts in here, but you can't put anything in the darn thing. You have to... You gotta turn on the freezer down here and some fuel, and you can only put certain items in there, like, I don't know. But at least it looks nice, right? Okay. Anyway. Come back and fix this up nice, nice, because I do... Again, I do want to park this down there when we're when we're not on any missions or any birthday parties. <laughs> By the way, I put a little skull there in front, and I'm going to dress this up a lot nicer than it is. Um, I'll put some skulls. We'll make it look really necromantic-ish. And I'll have an area here where... Where the kids can come on and uh, sew the body parts together and so forth and so on. But right now it's all temporary. Like I've got my sewing machine over here now. And uh, let's, in fact, let's fill this up with some items because it's going to need some things. I need string and that. And I think that's good. I have more in my backpack if we need more. So now, here's the dealio. We're going to fly on over to Pungence's place. And I have his coordinates, which he's, he's pretty close... That's Wuffles. Um, I think Pungence is right over here by B-Dub's house. He's got the Death Star over here. So it's like I wrote down his coordinates. I watched one of his videos, and he built it right here, and I think it's still there. So let's put a marker. It's like right over here somewhere. And we're going to fly right on over in our lovely balloon altar and look for this Death Star, and we're going to make up a, a neat little... Um, Actually, two two minions for him. I'm gonna stick him right in the Death Star. So here we go. Hopefully this thing works. We're looking good so far. Looking good so far. And away we go. Foxy lady. This is so cool. <laughs> I can't wait to go explore with you guys. It's gonna be so fun. There's so much to see. Uh we hit a cloud, and we're stuck. <laughs> These clouds are solid. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it, huh? All right, we got, whoa, whoa, whoa. Got a little extra headroom here. Oh, I think that's Wuffles' house. Wuffles'. I think that's, a, yeah, is it? I think so. I tagged it in my map a while ago. Pretty sure it is. Anyway, we're closing in. On the Death Star. All right, folks. I think we're getting closer. I believe it's up there by that small moon. Wait. That's no moon. I've got a bad feeling about this. There it is. Isn't that cool? Pungence is making this. Crap. Crap, as Pungence says. He sounds just like his brother, b double O. Crap. All right, let's get in there. Let's find an opening. Although, I guess what I should do... I'm going to have to get his minion in there. Wow, ooh, ooh. Look at the stars. We're up here by the stars. How high are we? 244. That's crazy, dude. Now, how do I get in this darn thing without busting a hole in it? Oh, oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Bat! Oh, I'm gonna die. I knew it. I cannot decompile my ship either. Oh, I turned into a zombie and died. Dang it! That was the wrong key press. Two deaths in this episode. This is how this episode is going, my friends. Ah, look how close I was to the water. Oh, look. Stuff. Oh, my stuff. Get out of there. Oh. <sighs> Is it all there, please? I hope so. My minions, everything. Right. Okay. Let me just get organized here. And then uh, we'll be on our way. I can't breathe the air up here. It's so high. Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't get my levels back. 
Oh, I need to name these dudes. Shucks, I forgot about that. I'm gonna have to go go on a slaughtering binge. <laughs> One more thing. Come on. All right, there's something. All right, this thing is not decompiled. This ship, for some reason, maybe I'm too high or something. I don't know. Let me see if I can get back into it. Okay. Now, let's bring her down. Bring her down. Bring her down a little. Bring her down. I'm going to fly this thing in bat form. I'm not taking any more stinking chances. Okay. Fell right through the dang bottom of it. All right. I think that decompiled. Okay. Good. So, now... Let's check out this Death Star, huh? I don't want to bust in, but I don't see any... Is there like a window or a door? No. You gotta be able to get in. Factory blocks. Oh. He must have some sort of teleporter. That's what he has. That's what's down there. I saw a little room. Alright, that's what it is. It's some sort of teleporter. I bet. All right, well then, tell you what, let's go ahead, and I do have to be the doctor for this one. Like, I you can't make a minion as a bat. It's just against the rules. <sighs> against all the necromancy rules. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm going to make, um, I'm going to make Emperor Palpatine, the em Emperor, right, for the Death Star, as well as Darth Vader. And I have a little bit of a plan. Let's start with the Emperor. So we need to make a head. Let's grab all the stuff. I need... Um, oh, hold on. Let me get my sheet here. All right. I just had to bring up the page with all the recipes because I forget how to do this. But I do have some of the body parts already made up for our little Emperor Palpatines. We're going to use a witch torso, two arms, which I've already created all this stuff um, a couple of nights ago. So I could be somewhat ready. But we do need a head. And we're going to use a villager head, which is a brain, a book, the skin... And a pair of eyes. So, oh, perfect. We gotta do this at night. That's also something that must be done properly according to the protocol. So, there we go. We got the skin for the head. We got the two eyes and the brain. And then we finally put in the book and we get a villager head. Yes, lovely. Feel the power. Uh, that's Emperor Palpatine. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! Quick, switch to bat. Um, I think I'm getting disconnected. Thank you, Cox Communications. <laughs> Ooh, okay, I'm back. And I'm falling! No, you stinking bums! No! Oh my gosh! I, 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 what's going on? This is why you don't want to do necromancy in the sky with bad internet. On bad internet day. Oh my gosh. I'm cursed. Tell you what. We're going to do necromancy as a bet. Okay? Just this once. Just this once. Don't tell the necromancy council. Um, I did get my head. Good. Okay. Whew. All right. Let's do it. So now we just put the body parts in here. We've got the villager head. Palpatine's head, rather. And the arms of the... Darth Sidious. Is that his name? Darth Sidious? I think so. There he is. There he is. Okay, we don't have a thunderstorm or lightning or anything like that, so we're not, we're not going to get fancy today. We're just going to get this done because this is bad. This is bad news. Bad things are happening here. I think I need a Necronomicon in my hand. Zing! Yeah! <laughs> Palpatine. Awesome. Now, I'm going to have to get my minions out of here to carry you, fool. Don't look away when I'm talking to you. And we're going to have to give him a name and all that jazz. But you just just get off the altar because I gotta make, I'm going to make Darth Vader now. So you stay there, Palpatine. Don't you move. Okay? Let your anger take over, Luke Skywalker. You can feel the anger. All right. Now, anyway, um, now we want to make a sort of Darth Vader-y thing. And I'm thinking an Enderman head. Right? And... I wrote this down. I, I think what we're going to do is an Enderman body. So I'm going to have to use an Enderman body, Enderman legs, and cow on... What? <laughs> this is 
<laughs> zombie on the Death Star. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so I am going to need one more cowie arm here. And it's this, this, uh, the muscle, and cow flesh. Two cow arms. This is going to look a little funky. You're Darth Vader, I'm sorry, but... Oh, he has a brother. Let's put him in here. Oh, my soul in a jar. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Imagine. Okay, so we have Darth Vader's head and his little helmet. And that ought to do it. You underestimate the power of the dark side. Don't underestimate the power of the dark side. Okay. Come to me. Are you are you sure this is everything? Do you have arms? I don't see your arms in there. Alright. Okay, Darth Vader. We give you life, Darth Vader. Go, what do I click? You! Yes! Perfect! <laughs> now I've gotta go kill some stuff and get some experience. You guys stay here, okay? Alright. Just got disconnected again. Thought I lost one of my safari nets, but fortunately all it did was fall to the ground. I found it in the river floating. Whew, close call. Hey, what you got in here? Be responsible and pick up your things. Oh, he must have left something behind. Uh, funny. Okay, how about if I... Uh, let's put them right here. We've got the Darth Vader dude and the Emperor here. And I hope I got those right. I'm pretty sure I did. But we're going to put you guys... Let's just stick you right here by the window. Whatever you do, do not fall out and do not chase me. Darth Vader! And the Emperor. Welcome to the Darth, to the Death Star. Now, um, we have to claim this little prank. Spelled that right? I hope so. Darth Vader. Yes, okay. So, let me come up with something clever here, and then we'll put another sign down below, and maybe just get him to come up here and check it out. Alright, I think, uh, I think this ought to cover it. Mr. Pungents, please enjoy these two free sample minions from PSJ's mobile Build-A-Minion service. We do B-Day parties and company outings. Call to reserve a spot in our busy schedule. PSJ, a.k.a. Dr. Professor Dumble Hendrix Soars. Okay. I think... What do you think, guys? Good? Funny? Clever? No? Do you still have a name? You do. Good. All right. Whew. I gotta get out of here. I'm losing my mind today, and I think I gotta go. I'm hungry, I'm tired, I'm confused, and irritated by my cable company, and I just got to go and uh, soak my feet and get a massage or something. Goodbye, Emperor. Goodbye, Darth Vader. All right, and with that, folks, I think I'm gonna say goodbye. Hope you all enjoyed this episode, and once again, I apologize for the uh, derping around, but things were cursed from the get-go, and I did my best to make did my best to make the best of it. When life gives you lemons, you make minions. That's what Papa always used to say.